Hey guys, welcome to Digital Srini and uh, this is uh, one of those videos where I'm providing you certain tips and tricks, typically in Python, but in this one, I'm gonna talk about image visualization software, at least the ones that I use. And this is useful, this can be very useful if you are working with images, of course, for machine learning or any other image uh, processing uh, tasks. Most of you are probably aware of ImageJ, but I get a lot of questions from, uh, from, from my viewers about, hey, what is that software that you are using to, uh, to check the images? So I thought of actually making a quick video so everyone can benefit from this. So there are two things that I primarily use. One is called ImageJ. In fact, it's called Fiji, uh, which is basically ImageJ. And the other one is called Zen Light. This is from Zeiss. And there's a clear reason why I use Zen and also ImageJ. ImageJ is very versatile and it's, it's uh, I mean, it's, uh, you can go ahead and use it. And uh, Zen is uh, also very versatile. There are a lot of functions. It's, uh, again, I'm talking about the free version, including 3D visualization. So let me give you a quick demo in terms of how to get your hands on to, uh, each of these and also how to uh, basically just open your images and get a quick feel for it okay so first of all go ahead and google search for fiji image j okay and download is easy it downloads uh, as a uh, folder so if you can just go here it just downloads as a folder so that's exactly what i have done so let me open my i think i should open another file explorer so you can look at my downloads and here is Fiji. So if I open this, it should be, this is a uh, zip folder. And now I would like to extract this into, again, another folder. I should have been a bit more prepared, but if I just go to my, this PC and then go to D drive and let's go ahead and extract this to my D drive, okay? So this is the file, this is, this is the folder. So let me go ahead and extract it right here. And this is a, uh, I mean, not too bulky, but this is like 500 megabytes. And if you download Zen while this is extracting, let's go and look at Zen. Uh, go ahead and Google search for again, Zeiss Zen Light. Okay, Z-E-N-L-I-T-E, -E, Zen Light. And go ahead and click on the first link and you'll get, uh, the, of course, this is designed for uh, microscopy related applications, but this can be very useful even for non-microscopy applications, but I definitely recommend for microscopy for sure, absolutely for microscopy applications, okay? If your images are multi-channel, multi-dimensional, you can go ahead and do that. So since uh, since uh, I, I've already downloaded this and uh, extracted, you know, installed it, this is how it looks like. Let me increase the workspace zoom. This is very modern, as you will see. So hopefully you can see things very nice uh, here. So uh, what shall we do now? Let's go ahead and, uh, in fact, since uh, image J extraction seems to be done, let's uh, finish that and then jump here, okay? That makes it a bit easier. So we have our image J right there, it's done. It's basically an executable. There is no installation, nothing. You just open this and it should open uh, uh, image J. And again, for those of you who used this before, uh, obviously wait for uh, the Zen part of it. I'll talk about it in a second. Now, do you want to start the updater? Let's not uh, let let's not update because if there are any new plugins, you know this is a great way of uh, updating it. Let me clear my screen so things are a bit easy for you to see because it's very cluttered right now. Okay, so obviously I'm on Windows, and uh, here I have an image that is a TIFF stack. So I can just uh, go ahead and drag it and it can open many, many image file formats. So I'd be surprised if it cannot handle your images. So let me go ahead and drag it up here and you can see these are the images and this is a TIFF stack, which means I have more than one image and TIFF stacks can be time series, it can be 3D volumes and so on. So, so here is my image and there are many, many, many things I can do. So you can just go ahead and explore this. You can, first of all, I can put my, uh, cursor somewhere and then you see the pixel value right there and the coordinates right if this is all you want to do this is fine and you can go ahead and look at stacks and i can uh, i can extract like uh, remove certain slices add certain slices i can um, insert slices and so on i can transform these images by flipping rotating i can process sharpen binary i can do uh, fft you know look at the uh, fourier transform of these image and the plugins are the uh, biggest strength of this uh, these are all community supported there's a lot of plugins go ahead and look at these plugins and you may find something useful for you 
Uh, I usually do this uh, most of the time rather than images I interact with masks here so I can just go ahead and open my mask and by the way you can synchronize these two images and then as you move one image the other one moves and so it makes it very easy for you to kind of keep track of things um, and mask right see here you see the value is 255 here it's zero okay so this is a quick overview you can do a lot and go ahead and uh, it's uh, explore this now if I do the same with uh, Zen I can again open uh, let me go back to my masks image I can open the masks these are TIFF images and let's go ahead and open our images right there so these are the images you see on the right hand side you will see all the images over there and if you would like uh, I think there is a way you can create multi view so on the left hand side I have this on the right hand side I have here and you can select how many images you want and you can compare all images at the same time so this is a great uh, experience as you can see if I'm inter uh, if I'm if I'm interested in what's going on at this tip you know so things are synchronized already when you bring this into multi view mode uh, uh, and you can you don't you don't have to synchronize but it's it's enabled right here and now since this is a time series I can actually go through each time step and I can kind of see you know how things are actually changing or moving in this case so let's go ahead and stop that there is a lot more you can do if you go to processing for example you can uh, very similar to image J uh, you can uh, for example if you have shading so one side of the image is bright the other side is dark you can experiment with shading correction and there's a lot of geometric sharpening smoothing uh, uh, many things the most important thing I think if you're not working with these type of uh, you know uh, images but if you have a bit more complicated for example do I have any um, I may have something in my download so let's quickly go to download yeah I have a couple of images and these are in CZI format which is the Zeiss format but you can have them in OME TIFF or any other you know uh, format that hopefully uh, the Zen can support but here is an image that's multi-channel again this is a typical uh, life sciences uh, image and this is multi-channel right so each channel represents something this is a fluorescence image and the green in this case is cytoplasm and the red sorry the blue is uh, nuclei so you can just say okay I just want to turn everything off and only look at nuclei okay and you can kind of investigate this and you see the substructures in the nuclei here and everything you can adjust basic parameters but but I hope you get the idea of the reason why I'm using image a and uh, Zen together. This is the free version by the way. I mean I since I work for Zeiss I have the uh, license for this I should say uh, to use advanced features which is super amazing but I'm showing you all the free, free features that you can benefit from. Okay now one final thing if you have 3D images the real reason I use uh, this is if you have 3D images for example I think this is a 3D image multi-channel again beautiful beautiful life sciences images as you can see. Uh, now you can actually go ahead and uh, uh, look at uh, Z position you know by changing uh, or you can just change this to 3d view and very nice free 3d viewer as you can see okay this is not uh, something that has a lot of depth but if you have 3d images this can be uh, very good so if you have like a multi-channel like uh, images or 3d images multi-dimensional images or large stitched images this can be a very nice platform to uh, to visualize those uh, those images okay so let me end this video here so the summary of this is if you are looking for free ways to visualize your images and potentially interact with them then the two things image j and zen light Okay, Zen Light is from Zeiss. ImageJ is this community developed uh, uh, image uh, visualization uh, and analysis uh, uh, software. So uh, I hope you find this uh, tip or tricks to be useful, not necessarily Python, but uh, hopefully it's useful for you guys. Thank you.